ever pondered how horse breeders know when a mare is ready to mate, in the intricate dance of equine reproduction, timing is everything. From the first signs of estrus to the subtle behavioral changes, breeders must be attuned to a mare's readiness for mating. This is not a mere guessing game, but a delicate science woven into the very fabric of equine breeding. It's a fascinating process, steeped in nature's rhythms and the art of observation, where each mare is a unique puzzle waiting to be decoded. The stakes are high, as successful breeding contributes to the propagation of these magnificent creatures, ensuring that future generations can marvel at the beauty and power of the horse. So, how exactly do breeders discern when a mare is ready to mate? What signs do they look out for, and how do they ensure the timing is right? Let's dive into the captivating journey of equine breeding. The first sign of a mare's readiness to mate is her estrus, or heat. Now, during this phase, one might notice a distinct shift in the mare's behavior. She might become more sociable and present a more receptive demeanor. This is nature's way of signaling that she is ready to mate. But that's not all. Other behaviors that are typical during this period include frequent urination, tail raising, and a unique phenomenon known as winking of the vulva. These aren't random quirks, but rather they're key indicators of the mare's readiness for reproduction. It's a fascinating display, a dance of sorts, that form part of the intricate world of equine breeding. So when you see these behavioral changes, you can be quite sure that the mare has entered her estrus phase. So the estrus phase is the first sign of a mare's readiness to mate. During estrus, mares exhibit certain behavioral changes. This period, often referred to as heat, prompts mares to display a range of distinctive behaviors that signal their readiness to breed. One of the most common signs is frequent urination, which is more than just a call of nature. It's a mare's subtle way of signaling her fertility status to potential mates. Another observable change is tail raising. A mare in heat will often lift her tail, displaying an open and inviting stance. This tail raising is usually accompanied by something called winking of the vulva. An unusual term indeed, but it aptly describes the rhythmic opening and closing of the vulva, another clear signal of a mare in estrus. So whether it's the increased urination, the telltale tail raising or the rhythmic winking, these behavioral changes provide vital clues to understanding a mare's readiness to breed. These behavioral changes indicate a mare's readiness to breed. A comprehensive veterinary examination is crucial in assessing a mare's readiness for mating. It's not merely looking at the mare's behavior or observing physical signs. It goes beyond that. It involves a thorough checkup of the mare's reproductive system, primarily focusing on the uterus and ovaries. This is where the magic happens, where life begins. Veterinarians use specialized equipment to examine these vital organs. They look for any abnormalities or signs of diseases that might hinder successful mating. More so, they assess the mare's overall health, as a healthy mare has a better chance of successful conception and carrying a foal to term. A veterinary examination is akin to piecing together a puzzle. Each finding, each observation is a piece that contributes to the bigger picture. Understanding the mare's reproductive health. It's a process that combines science with an intuitive understanding of these magnificent creatures. A veterinary examination can provide valuable insights into a mare's reproductive health. Monitoring hormone levels and using teaser horses are effective ways to assess a mare's readiness for breeding. In this captivating process, hormones play a pivotal role. Progesterone and estrogen levels in particular can provide crucial insights. When estrogen levels rise and progesterone levels fall, it's a clear sign that the mare is entering her fertile period, signaling readiness for mating. Now, let's talk about teaser horses. These are typically geldings, used to gauge a mare's receptiveness. They help breeders identify the subtle changes in a mare's behavior that indicate she's in heat. The mare's reaction to the teaser horse can be a reliable indicator of her readiness to mate. In the intricate dance of equine breeding, understanding these hormone levels and the mare's response to a teaser horse is crucial. These elements combined can significantly improve breeding success. Understanding hormone levels and the mare's reaction to a teaser horse can significantly improve breeding success. 
For artificial insemination, timing is everything. The ability to determine the optimal moment for insemination is a delicate balance of art and science. It's about recognizing the signs, understanding the mare's cycle, and using technology to our advantage. When we talk about timing, we're essentially talking about syncing insemination with the mare's ovulation. This is crucial because the lifespan of both the egg and sperm is limited. If the timing is off, the chances of conception decrease significantly. Veterinarians often use ultrasound technology to monitor the mare's cycle and pinpoint ovulation. This allows them to time the insemination just right, maximizing the chances of a successful pregnancy. It's important to remember though, that every mare is unique. What works for one may not work for another. This is where experience and a keen eye for detail come into play. The right timing can increase the chances of successful conception. Understanding when a mare is ready to mate is a key part of successful equine breeding. Throughout this exploration, we've unraveled the intricate signs and processes that signal a mare's readiness for mating. We started by exploring the first indicator, the estrus cycle, a time when mares become more sociable and receptive. We then delved into the various behavioral changes, such as frequent urination, tail raising, and vulva winking. We discussed the importance of a thorough veterinary examination to assess the mare's reproductive health and the role of hormone monitoring in providing crucial insights. The use of teaser horses and ovulation detection methods also came to light as tools to pinpoint the optimal time for mating. Finally, we looked at the critical timing involved in artificial insemination, a technique often employed in equine breeding. Understanding this cycle is a fascinating part of equine breeding, contributing to the future of these magnificent creatures.